Good morning everyone. Welcome to our science class. Science 4, quarter 1, module 2, week 2. And we are going to study or describe changes in solid materials when they are bent and pressed as shown in the picture. Before we start, let us identify what is solid. A solid has a definite shape and volume. Solid materials have different char characteristics, properties such as size, shape, color, texture, weight, and so on. Solid also an object which is firm and stable in shape. And it has three dimensions, the length, width, and height or thickness. Solid materials can be changed through many ways. By cutting, folding, bending, tearing, twisting. Also, solid materials can be changed through stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, melting, and hammering. Let us now study the different changes of materials when bent. Before that, let us identify what bent mean. Bent is to force and shape into curve or angle. Let us now describe what will happen to the solid materials when they are bent. Was a new material formed when solid material was bent? Observe what will happen and write down your observation on the table shown. Let us check if your answers are correct. All the materials listed like paper clip, plastic ruler, and metal spoon change its size and shape. Remember, Solid materials can be bent, and these materials may change their size, shape, or texture, but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Now, I want you to get your module or your learning packets and try to answer page 20, the challenge or our evaluation. Let us now check if your answers are correct. Number 1, B. 2, B. Number 3, metal spoon. 4, paper clip. And last is the plastic ruler. Let us now proceed with the different materials that can be pressed. Let us now give the meaning of the word press. Press is to force and shape into curve or angle, like what you have seen in the picture. Pressing or ironing the clothes and pressing the soil. Again, you are going to prepare the materials needed, like clay, plastic cup, and cotton. On our table, you are going to observe and write down your observation on what happened to the materials when pressed. Let us check your answers. Clay, plastic cup, and cotton also change in size and shape. No new material was formed. Again, solid materials can be pressed. These materials may change their size, shape, or texture. No new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Get your science module or your learning packet. Answer page 23 after page 24, the challenge or our evaluation. Check your own work with honesty. 
Number 1 is letter B. Number 2, B. For numbers 3, 4, and 5, circle the pictures below that describe solid materials were, were being pressed. And the correct answers are, number 1, the child lying on the pillow. Next, the children who are dancing. And last, the number 5, the, the boy who's playing his clay. This is your sheet work number 1. You're going to do this during the independent learning time. You are going to draw or cut 5 materials that can be bent and 5 materials that can be pressed. You are going to put them in a clean, short bond paper. On a clean bond paper, you are going to follow the format listed here. You are going to write your name on the upper part, the date today, your section, and the name of your teacher. Afterwards, write sit work number one. Then, you are going to write down again materials that can be bent. Then, paste the five pictures that materials that can be bent here. On another sheet of band paper, you are going to write down again your name, section, date, and the name of your teacher, seat work number one, materials that can be pressed. Then, post here all the materials that can be pressed.